Hey y'all, it's Hannah from Half Acre Heart and today we are going to do a summer garden tour 2022. It is June 23rd, something like that. Um, it's been a long time since I made a video. <laughs> Just been busy with life and um, crazy things happening like getting meat chickens and having them attacked by hawks and then having the survivor turn into a pet chicken uh ducks hatching out ducklings you can probably see them back there um that we don't really know what we're doing with <laughs> i mean now we kind of know what we're gonna do with them but anyways let me show you what's going on in the garden <laughs> Fed is mostly flowers and medicinals going crazy with sunflowers and straw flowers like do you see how thick this straw flower stock is and then we have some gonfrena and then these are asters some more asters over there they were all supposed to be yellow but they've kind of all bloomed as um, I feel like they look more yellow in the video, but once they're open, it's just such a pale yellow. I wouldn't even really call that. It's more like off white. And there's one that turned out pink, <laughs> but we also have Chinese noodle beans, which I will never not grow again. Um, the, these ones are a little kind of on their way out. Most of these are drying. I will save them for seeds, um, but I did go ahead and plant a second sowing of them so that way um, we can get more because they do do really well in the heat. We did have a really hot day the other day of like 102 so we have chamomile. You can tell that I harvested uh, a lot from this one just the other day to make some tea. I'm actually not really big on tea. I never have been. I just don't really care for hot drinks um, but I wanted to grow chamomile so I could make a salve with it with um, the yarrow and I figured, well, for right now I don't have enough of the arrow, so I'll make some tea. And I've had chamomile tea, like, from tea bags from a store before. Um, it is nothing like having it fresh. It is so good and, like, fruity and just amazing. And I will never not grow chamomile now, like, ever. So if you've never had, like, fresh chamomile tea, grow your own chamomile. It is so worth it. Yarrow flowers. This is actually the from a plant start from um, local nursery that I got last year. And then I have one, two, and one teeny tiny little one um, that I started from seed. So they're not quite established like this one, but this one's finally putting off some pretty little flowers for me. This bed, we have tomatoes. They're not doing great. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and say I haven't seen this today. 100% there is a hornworm on this one. There are no leaves. So I will have to find that and it will be <laughs> duck food. But um, other than that issue, um, they've just not been doing that great. We have harvested a few tomatoes, but they were in this bed last year. So I don't know if maybe that's the issue or what, but they're just not great. That one over there is pretty barren too. I definitely have hornworms. 110%. But we have a bunch of volunteer basil <laughs> everywhere. I did not start any basil at all this year. Like this one is huge. Um, and that's just from last year. The seed heads I would just crumble. And this will probably just one day be completely taken over by, <laughs> by basil. We have some cucumbers. Um, I've been having a real hard time with um, vine borers all of my squash and zucchini to vine borers um, and they're currently in my um, spaghetti squash as well so this is also not looking too hot <laughs> over here we have the Thai soldier beans which I don't know if you can tell but the trellis is just loaded up and I did notice a difference um, in how these grow and the Chinese noodle beans. so both of these bean varieties are climbing varieties but the soldier beans bush up a little bit more as far as just putting out a lot more foliage before they start to actually throw their flowers and the um, Chinese noodle beans like they throw out really long 
vines initially with not as much foliage um, and flowered a lot sooner too. They were all planted at the same time. Now, taste-wise, because we've not had these before and I've heard conflicting opinions on like if they're even good. So the Thai soldier beans are just kind of like a really mild green bean um, that I would definitely remove the strings from. And then the Chinese noodle beans, like they're so good. If, like we cook them with just um, like salt, pepper, paprika, uh, Lowry's seasoning salt. I think that's it. Um, until they're like fork tender. They are so good. So good. Um, obviously you don't want to overcook them because um, they do kind of get like rubbery. Let one of the vines go over here to the sunflower and let it climb all the way to the sunflower. You can see it's putting off bean right there, some beans right there. They're too young to pick. And then all the way off the sunflower head. And I would not be surprised if it doesn't reach all the way over to that sunflower. Um, they are insane. Even though we don't love the flavor as much as the Chinese noodle beans, I will definitely grow these. Just because it's so prolific, it just puts off so much food that I don't see it being... It's not worth it to not grow it <laughs> to me. I spy an escape duckling. Go back through. So this is the only portion of fence that we have that doesn't have hardware cloth on it and the babies will escape through so they can explore especially when i had the sprinkler on earlier for them <laughs> mama doesn't like it this is dixie she hatched them out and then this is walter he's the dad over here we have a bunch of zinnias and sunflower and then some alyssum and okra which again i don't know if you saw any of my summer videos last year my okra would not get much taller than this. These are the heavy hitter okra seeds from um, Baker Creek. And I believe if I could get them to like grow to the size they're supposed to, that we would get, you know, those heavy hitter ugh, yellow flies, but that we would get the heavy hitter yield that we should be. Um, so not giving up on it though. I did plant more over here because this is where we have the squash and zucchini. I pulled it because of the, of the um, vine borers. Do you have a little one coming up here? I must have um, accidentally planted a seed that took a super long time to germinate. Um, but anyways, okra um, over here. This okra does really good in the heat. Should not be a problem. And then I went ahead and planted some more beans because I don't remember what was in this grow bag, um, but it was spent, so filled it up, and we'll have some more beans. Can't remember which kind I planted, but I guess time will tell. And then one of the pepper beds, we have lots of banana peppers. I just harvested like yesterday too, and there's again more ready. Um, those and then jalapenos are over here and some monster, yellow monster bell peppers. Now there's not any currently on anything, um, but I am very excited for those. I love peppers, obviously. We have a whole lot. This is just one of two pepper beds. So um, this bed is just more flowers, um, marigolds, which I guess I must have spilled seeds because they're also just taking over the walkways. Zinnias, Cosmos, and then this was more um, Chinese noodle beans. This was the first uh, plant to stop producing, uh, to start and to stop. And we did get a whole lot of aphids um, on them, but I didn't see aphids on like anything else. The Armenian melons though. We did get a couple, I don't know, like three or four really, good size melons to use for um, pickles. And then it kind of died back. And I'm pretty sure this is also vine borers. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, just the way it looks with everything being dead on the bottom and then on top being good. I think that's what it is. And then more flowers. I harvested potatoes a few days ago, but I noticed um, sweet potatoes growing out of my compost. So I just transplanted them over here. And in, I think I might've thrown some in this bed too. I just covered it up too much. This was garlic that's all been harvested now. And then more wee okra, <laughs> more wee okra, more wee okra. And then 
These are more peppers, banana peppers, and then ahi chachucha. I have not gotten any, anything from these two, and I don't know why. Um, and then this is the spaghetti squash that I believe I have vine borers in. Um, I don't just believe, I know, because over here, there is a little entry hole and all this sawdust. Some of this is actually some organic fertilizer I put down, but believe me, there was the sawdust there. <laughs> and then we have, um, what kind of melon was this? It was free seeds from Baker Creek. I'll have to go back and look, but we do have our first melon. So very excited about that. And I'm not upset that the vine is on the cardboard because I think that will actually help with um, the melons development, not, you know, getting rotted or bugs and whatnot. And then we have more peppers. <laughs> These are all banana peppers. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of peppers this year. And I did have big plans for selling flowers this year. So I was heavily dependent on my sunflowers because I was like, they're the easiest thing to grow, them and zinnias. Um, I'll show you the sunflowers. They're all like spent by now um, because it's June and they were in full bloom a month ago. So I have cut sunflowers and I have my mammoth sunflowers. Um, which I will share a tip with you about the mammoth sunflowers that you will want to know in a minute. But the cut sunflowers, um, so one of the varieties I was just like, not gonna work. Um, two of the varieties were branching. One I knew was branching, the other one I didn't know. Or maybe I, d I did when I ordered the seeds and I just forgot. And even though it states it on the packet <laughs> that for branching sunflowers, you need to like de-head it at two-ish feet tall so that it encourages the branches to be nice and long for cut flowers. I did not do that. And that threw a huge wrench in my plans. I was just gonna be selling them to the neighborhood this year. Um, but that didn't happen because um, I got the sunflowers, just none of them had long enough stems and all of the other varieties that I got were supposed to be like supplemental because they had coloring or whatever. Um, these dang yellow flies. Um, so because the branching flowers were going to be the bulk of the sunflower bouquets, um, and uh, the bulk of the sunflower zinnia bouquets as far as like what type of sunflower I was using in the zinnia bouquets, um, it just didn't work out. Because um, all the other sunflowers were single stemmed and it was like, okay, well I harvest some of these and like how many bouquets can I actually make? Um, and then one of the sunflower varieties, I will not be growing again just because <laughs> they attracted these like beetles that bore into them even before they the heads were like starting to open and it was just I don't know um anyways I will show you these are the goldie double again they are um branching <laughs> and they are uh spent by now um I obviously did not end up actually using them for cut flowers because I didn't do what I was supposed to so the stems are super short. Um, I will be saving seeds and doing this again in September and doing it the right way. Um, some of the seed heads I'm just throwing on the ground. It's fine. Um, and then these ones, so I did not take off these heads to save and probably a squirrel came and took them. I think it was Sunfill Purple. That's what it was, Sunfill Purples. Can't show you though, because squirrels. And then these are the Soraya, also from Johnny Seeds. And um, some of them got like a decently long stem so I could make like a mini bouquet. But um, again, I didn't do what I was supposed to. So this is completely my bad as far as germination and everything. The seeds were great, not anything at fault with Johnny Seeds at all. And then I planted some more Soraya over here. And then we have some fallen face first in the ground. Um, these were plum, I believe. I think I have one over here that has a bloom still. So they are really pretty and I will definitely grow these again. These were not branching. Um, it's just that I was like, why am I gonna cut these? if I'm not gonna be able to make that many Okay, so I figured I'll just save the seeds this year and, um, or this season, and I can try again next season. These were the white light. So the heads, the center was like a pale green, and I don't know, the bugs, like you can see, 
like that that hole they ate through the back before the petals were even like visible it was crazy so they just had so much damage and i'm not not growing those again but then we have all of my mammoth sunflowers which make me so happy even though they're also on their way out but what i wanted to show you tell you about is about these suckers leaf-footed bugs you probably have them in your garden have seen them and I want to let you know that you do not need to do a dang thing about them in your vegetable garden if you have sunflowers because they love, absolutely love, the spent heads. Can you see them? They love the spent heads. Any heads that are still like this one is still fine. There's not a single one on there. Even this one, not a single one on there. Again, not a single one on any of the actively beautifully bloomed sunflowers. They only go for the spent heads. So you can use your sunflowers as a trap crop. I definitely recommend, even though this was like an accidental finding, I didn't mean to um, have a trap crop so far away. I just wanted a bunch of sunflowers in this corner for shade for the ducks and take up you know give the backyard a little bit more beauty whatever but it just so worked out so I mean it's not that far from my garden and um I might see one or two in there but it's nothing like over here last year we had a huge problem and they just suck the life out of your plants and these sunflowers have completely saved me dealing with them in my vegetable garden so plant you a nice little sunflower patch and watch the magic happen organically. You don't have to spray anything. You don't have to come out with a bucket of soapy water and knock them down. Just let them have the spent sunflowers. Just let them have All right, it. so there is my summer garden tour. I know some things are kind of spent by now, but better late than never, I guess. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below or tell me about how your gardening this summer has gone so far. I know some of you are probably just seeing your gardens really come to life, depending on what zone you are. I'm in zone 9A. And um, so we're kind of getting into like the heat of the summer where we need to take a break and start thinking about our fall garden. Um, but make sure you like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram because that's when I am most or where I am most active. Um, and kind of keep you up to date on the day to day, like <laughs> ducklings hatching and uh, meat chickens turning into pet chickens. No big deal. Anyways, until next time. Bye guys.